God, I hate getting shots. Why do I gotta get this stupid COVID vaccine anyway? Peter, it's COVID. You should know how to say it. It's been well over a year. Yeah, well, well, I, I only ever read it. So, if it isn't the mommy to be... No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna be competent today. Now, before I administer the vaccine, do you have any questions? Yeah, uh, how does your vaccine work? Well, think of the vaccine as a large ethnic bouncer and COVID as the drunk, entitled white kid yelling, Do you know who my father is? God, do I have to do everything? Vaccines have been around for hundreds of years. They helped eliminate smallpox from the face of the earth, and they're well on the way to doing the same with polio. Those were once devastating diseases, you understand, and now, thanks to vaccines, you don't even have to worry about them. What do you say, Brian? Should we show them how it works? Well, I have a date with that chick that works at the bowling alley. What the hell? Where are we? We're inside the fat man's body. Fine, I'll text her, I'll be late. There's no reception. Oh yes, there's too much plaque in his arteries, you'll never get a signal. Anyway, vaccines protect us from illnesses by activating our immune response without the danger of actual infection, thereby training the body to fight off the real thing. Some of the COVID vaccines work by exposing your immune system to proteins which resemble the spike protein of the virus but cannot infect you. The vaccine stimulates your immune system to make antibodies against the virus, mimicking what happens when you get COVID except that you don't get sick with the vaccine. The mRNA vaccines actually use the genetic code of the virus to create a pretend version of the spike protein. Hi, I look like the virus, but I'm not the virus. When the real virus tries to attack your body, these pre-made circulating immune proteins are already available, coded to recognize the virus and at the ready to fight back. They essentially find, bind to, and kill the invading virus, drastically reducing the chances that you'll get sick. The vaccine also results in the creation of memory cells that will fight the virus in years to come. The memory cells, right, right. I'm glad you said that. I was going to touch on it. Don't, don't do that. So the more quickly we all get vaccinated, the more quickly we can all get back to doing the things we love safely. Right, like that chick at the bowling alley. Yeah, I was thinking of, like, concerts. As of now, billions of COVID vaccines have been administered safely to people around the world. Uh, Brian, I think you're stepping on Peter's liver. Help me. Oh, God. Yes, let's just swim over here. All right, well, what Peter might ask is, what if the vaccine makes him sick? The common side effects from the COVID vaccines are generally mild and last a few days. But do you know what can have serious long-term side effects? COVID. Well, you know, he also says he just figures everyone else is going to get it, so why does he have to? Well, what he should understand is that getting the shot not only protects him, but also the people around him. But even more importantly, if the virus is allowed to spread through an unvaccinated population, it could mutate into a variant that the vaccines might not protect against. And then we're right back where we started. Gal Gadot singing Imagine. We cannot let that happen. Well, you know, I just realized this is like one of those schoolhouse rocks. Except, you know, without the rock. Yeah, it's like school. Way to end strong, Brian. You know what, Doc? I changed my mind. Something inside of me tells me I ought to get the shot. I think you're going to be very happy you did. Okay, just give me fair warning because I'm very afraid of needles. And also some guy on the radio said... You're done. Is that it? That was easy. Is that a freaking Bart Simpson band-aid?